Tekken 8 is a game I'm really looking forward to when it drops and I'm guessing it's going to be next year because that makes sense for Tekken's 30th anniversary. But for the time being, there was a closed network test that was done and I got to try a little bit of it. As someone who is knows very little to nothing of Tekken and has been following at least with the trailers and stuff, I'll have a playlist for that at the end of the video if you guys want to take a look at that. But with playing this, getting a feel for things, I'm actually pretty excited for for this one. It's something I'm looking forward to and something I would like to learn. Now in terms of what was in the closed network test, there was it was only for ranked mode, so you could only do ranked matches. You couldn't do rooms, because I was hoping I could play with friends, but that's not the case. But no, not a big deal. It's just there to test to test the network connections and to see how good online is, which spoilers. The online is actually very good by what I've tried, considering though most of my matches were I set for like level four or higher. They all ran pretty well. I think I maybe have one or two instances where it kind of hitched for a second, but not that big of a deal. Overall, I think the game went, played well. I'm trash at it. I need to learn how to play it. And I'm hoping to do more of that at least when, when the game drops. But at least with initial impressions of how the online is, I liked it. I think this has the potential to be something really good. Crossplay, I won't be able to test though because I'll be gone during the next test so i'm gonna have to see how that is so i'm gonna be looking for feedback on that but i would say at least overall like the online play it's looking solid i'm very curious to see where things go with it and learn more about it in terms of what was included with it there was 16 fighters i didn't get the chance to test all of them but the ones that i was interested in i got the tryout so jun zhao yu Warang and Law. And I did try out, at least with them a bit, the special style controls and arcade style controls. Special seems fine. It does seem a little more button mashy, but I don't feel like it's the best way to win. Even though I did win a couple batch matches with it, it almost felt like cheating a little bit. But I'm glad the special style exists. It is interesting that you can switch between it on the fly, and I did notice that happen also during some matches. And I tried it out myself too, just to see what the difference was. And I feel like it does come in handy, but I do want to learn at least the standard stuff with these characters. Between the ones that I tried, Jun is the one I'm the most excited for, but Jun seems like Jun seems like the hardest one to use right now. So she may not be the most user friendly, but she is still someone I would like to learn how to use. And again, find out more when when I actually get my hands on it. The actual final build. There were five stages and I thought the stages looked good. There was some destruction with them too which I thought was pretty interesting but I mean overall like the game looks great. It ran well and I feel like this might be one of my most anticipated games of next year provided it is coming next year and I'm pretty sure it is like I said because next year is going to be Tekken's 30th anniversary. It would make sense to release it for then. But in terms of other fighting games coming out this year, uh, out that year, like I have a feeling Garo 2 is going to be there, Garo, the next Garo game. But it's going to be between Tekken 8 and Garo for my top pick for fighting games, at least I'll play next year. But Tekken 8 is something I'm going to be keeping an eye on. I'm definitely going to want to see more on what characters are going to be there, see who else piques my interest, and just build up that hype and anticipation with it so I hope you all could join me on this journey for Tekken 8 because I, I like to learn I would like to get better with it and I'd like to share that with you guys and you know maybe you can help me along the way I'd love to hear what you all have to say about it did you get a chance to play that closed network test or see any footage what do you guys think about it I'd love to hear what you guys have to say leave your feedback in the comments below don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join in on this journey. I'd love to have you along for the ride. With that though, I thank all of you for watching. And until next time, stay safe. And I will see you in the next one.